Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. So Ham became the forefather of the dog racist. We all are dog skinned people, correct? But it's going to make the distinguish, it's going to dis make the difference just like the Bible did. Read. Right. Not the Negro. Uh oh, not who? Not the Negro. Negroes are you so called blacks, yeah, you African Americans. He said, oh, and, and, the, and, the, and the Haitians, and the Jamaicans, he said, you guys are not the seed line of ham. This is the, what the scholars know. You don't come from the seed line of ham, read. But the Egyptians, uh -huh. Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. That's what we just read in the Bible. So God, it's a difference between us and them. <laughs>
shall not a dog move his tongue. So it said, against the nation of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. God can compare to other nations on the earth he created into dogs. Read. Against man or beast, uh -huh. that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a different. What's that word? A different. What's that word? A different. So the Lord put a difference between who? Between the Egyptians. Between the Hamites, because the Egyptians come from the seed land of Ham. They right. was also dark skinned, uh, dark hue. Right. So, you, so you can understand, everybody in the beginning was dark. When God created the earth, he formed man from the dust of the ground. Everybody was dark until Genesis 25 when a white man came into play. Okay? That was the first documented person that was not uh, of dark hue. That's, you understand that? Read. The Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So he put a difference between the Hamites and the Israelites. Two different nations. Now hold that, give me that uh, ham in the Son of Jonathan Comeback Bible Dictionary. I'm going to further answer your question real quick. We're going to look up the definition of ham because there's a lie in the earth that say the so-called blacks come from the seed line of ham. Have you ever heard that? You ever heard that before? They say we come from the seed line of the lineage of the Hamites. That's totally different. That's totally uh, false. Right. Okay, read, read that. This is the Zonovan Bible Compact Dictionary, page 213, 213. Right. Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. So Ham, Shem, Japheth, Noah, and they all had wives. That's eight of them. He said they, they were one of the eight people that lived from the flood. Read. They lived after the flood. Read. He became the progenitor of the dark races. He did what? Became the progenitor of the dark races. So Ham became the forefather of the dark races. We are dark skinned people, correct? But it's going to make the distinguish. It's going to dis make the difference, just like the Bible did. Read. Right. Not the Negro. Uh oh, not who? Not the Negro. Negroes are you so-called blacks? Yeah. You African Americans. He said, oh, and, 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 and the Haitians and the Jamaicans. He said, you guys are not the seed line of Ham. This is the, what the scholars know. You don't come from the seed line of Ham. Read. But the Egyptians, uh -huh. Ethiopians. Libyans and Canaanites. That's what we just read in the Bible. So God, it's a difference between us and them. Did right. they ask your question? Yeah, it still didn't? Okay, so, all right. It still didn't. It still didn't. You said what was the difference, correct? No, what, what I'm saying, this is what I'm saying. Okay. Israelite, the Israelites were the last nation to be created. Uh -huh. But they are of a few, right? Of dark few, right? Yes. The same as the other nations mm -hmm. that are of dark few. What separates us, as all standing here, from the other hue, and how do you know it? Deuteronomy 7 to 6. Give me Deuteronomy 7 to 6. Read it. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right. So the difference is that we are chosen. But to further answer your question, we are chosen above all the people upon the face of the earth. That's okay, right. but what actually separates us and how do we know it is this. First, read that. Uh, oh, Psalms 147. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Then I want to go to Deuteronomy 28 because it's, it talks about us having these signs on us as well. That's how you're going to know the difference as well. Okay? So I'm going to show you what makes us holy and set apart from the other people. Psalms 147. You got it? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. He showed his word unto Jacob. It said he showed his word, meaning the Bible, and the instructions in his Bible, and the understanding he showed it to Jacob. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. And the statutes and the, and the, and the, statutes and the judgments. Read. Unto who? Unto Israel. He have not dealt so with you. have what? He had not dealt so with any nation. So any other nation outside of the nation of Israel, he have not dealt with them. Read. And as for his judgments, 
They have not known them. And that's for the judgments of breaking the commandments. The other nations don't know it. Read. That's it. Pray. Right, so, so praise you the Lord. So this is how we are different because we was given the laws and the other nations wasn't. Now you say, how can you tell, right? That was what, was it, is that correct? That's another part of your question. How, how, do you, how can you tell? How do you know that you are from Israel instead of from the other nations? Give me Deuteronomy 28. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 46. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Oh, first, first start at verse 15 real quick. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you will not listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God. It's talking about the commandments that we read about in Psalms that were given it to us only. It said that if you don't, if you don't follow those things, read, to observe. To do all his commandments. To observe to do all the laws that's written in the Bible, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these what? All these curses. So curses, my brother, is that good or bad? Curses is bad, of course. Curses is bad, right? So it's telling the children of Israel, who God put a difference between the Africans, he's telling them all these curses is going to come upon you. Read. Shall so come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. Is that it? Yes. Sir. All right. Now jump to verse 46. Let's get to the point. Bring it up. Verse 46. So it's talking about curses overcoming the nation of Israel, right? Read. And they, see be, and they shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So it said these curses shall what? And they shall be upon thee. And they, the day is the curses, and they shall do what? And they shall be upon thee. And the curses is going to be upon you. Read. For a sign. For what? For a sign. For what? A sign. A sign does what? When you see a sign, what does that do? It marks it out. It marks it out. It separates U.S. footwear from Metro uh, T-Mobile across the street. So these signs is what identify us today as the nation of Israel. As you continue to go through the curses, we resonate with all the curses that God put upon us today. This is how we know we are the children of Israel. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation 